If you are patient enough to stay to the very end of this video, I will be taking you through the process of how I made this beautiful, golden and transparent acrylic indoor signage for your business. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, it is. So uh, the size of this acrylic is 23 by 23 inch it so it's a big one so put in mind there are different types of signage we have the indoor and the outdoor the one you can put outside your shop and the one you can put indoor like this okay also note that um, there are different ways of making it different colors so i'll be explaining to you deeply in this video uh, now let's start with the materials we're going to be working with yeah so this is transparent the circle is transparent acrylic now we have different mm okay we have three mm we have four mm we have different thickness of this transparent color and also we have different colors of acrylic we have red we have blue we have yellow we have green they are different types basically and also um thickness okay so the mm uh, stand for the thickness okay now for this indoor acrylic you can either use 3 mm you can use 4 mm you can even use 5 mm depending on how thick you want your acrylic to be or your signage to look like uh, also put in mind that the more thick thicker the acrylic the more money you're going to pay okay also know that these are not cheap yeah they are not cheap and um how much can you say something like this i'll be talking about it in this video to know that you are actually here for a good treat now for the golden acrylic we only have three mm for the golden acrylic there is no four mm there is no five mm so this golden acrylic we call it um uh, mirror gold okay mirror gold acrylic okay because it has a kind of shiny surface there is another one that is gold okay just normal gold color but this one is we call it mirror gold acrylic and it only comes in 3 mm there is no 4 mm there is no 2 mm there is no 5 mm it only come in 3 mm please always note everything i'm saying in this video because i know some persons will still come to my inbox to ask me some of the questions i've answered please that's why it's important for you to watch the video to the very end okay now um for this you're going to cut you're going to we they sell it in feet okay now uh it depends on how big you want your um signage to be for this um 23 by 23 uh round signage so you have to buy like um you have to buy like um, um two by two feet okay two by two feet that's what you're going to buy a feet is 12 inches okay so two by two that that means that um if uh that means it's um, 24 by 24 are you getting it okay so that's what you need to buy for the transparent but now for the transparent you can also use uh other colors i'm sure you've seen a lot of uh, indoor signage online where some people will use white color they will use red they will use green then what determines um the color you choose is uh, what you want to use to write your design on it are you getting me okay let's see you can also choose black although black is more more expensive than the other colors yes also have it in mind like that black is more expensive then um you are going to cut this is laser cutting the only thing that can cut this thing perfectly well like this is laser so you're going to cut this when you cut it now for the gold you're going to buy um what you're going to use um, for this one this is the i'm using this mirror gold you can also use some other colors as i've said you can use red you can use blue on this transparent any color of choice that you want then you're going to have your design so this is my design you can see how it is then they are going to cut laser cutting is a laser machine that is going to cut your design like this you can't use your hand you can't use your hand to cut it it is laser you need that laser machine that will cut for you so you need somebody that will cut for you people that have the machine that will cut for you so when they cut for you like this you're the one that will do the arrangement okay you are the one that will do the arrangement also have it in mind that 
most people that sell this thing online they don't have the machine so because uh, i know some persons will also be like how much is the machine i'm not saying you cannot afford the machine but don't stress yourself about the machine because <laughs> it's a lot of millions okay so yeah, unless you just want to also be doing for people and you want to really really go into it that's when you want to be talking about you want to buy a laser machine now uh you have to look for people that do the laser cutting look for them in your area search for them look search online you want to buy this acrylic also go online where to, i want to buy acrylic you will see different places some persons eh, when they want to buy something to search for it is is issue okay go online basically most of the things that i know where they are selling them today the first place that come to my mind is gogo gogo is our friend browse it okay they will show you different locations where they are selling it sometimes they will even put the contact of people that are selling it there and when you go to a website that is legit you already know so put a call through they don't take uh, money before um, delivery or how did you do you have to sometimes tell them, most of them they have their shops you go there okay you purchase what you want to purchase okay these are the informations that you need and i'm giving you already now what do you need to attach all this uh, design to your transparent acrylic you need um uh you need um top bond yes you need super glue to attach it that is what you're going to use so when you are putting it don't put too much because it will create a kind of whitish um appearance to it and you don't want that so when you are, you can see the way i just dot dot put it okay and one thing about um super glue is it's going to glue to it okay now that we are done arranging it see i want to let you also know that there's a lot that goes into making signage yes it is not just arranging this gold or arranging your designs in fact this is the this is just the most simplest part of it yes this is the most simplest part and anybody can do this one if you want your your design to just be like this then you are good to go without the lights okay if you don't want lights uh, you just you know put with your super glue you gum it and you are good to go now we are we start the work so we just started the work now so you need your drilling machine okay you need really machine because that is what you're going to be using to hang it to the wall so you have to drill okay now you can skip this part if uh you you cut and parts of you know when you when you are, they are doing laser cutting for you they can also cut um uh, um uh, these parts okay where you're going to screw okay so this is um they call this what's the, the name of this thing i forgot maybe i'll drop it in the comment section but this thing i usually use it for um chairs people that does and um, furniture work they do it when i was doing tire furniture i usually use it to design uh that's what i usually use to carry glass on the on the table yeah so this is what we are going to be using to to attach it to the wall okay now also note there are different ways of placing your light okay there are different ways of placing placing your light now if you want the light to illuminate around the the design that is going to illuminate inside then you are going to use this method that i'm using okay so this light so let me talk about it we also have different types of lights we have these are rope lights they call it rope lights they are tiny tiny ones uh this one they said this one in yards and it the light illuminates so well okay there are also some tiny tiny ones too they also illuminate so well but this one is bold okay this one is very bold now see the way i am placing it now you can see that the light is facing us okay i'm using the edge i'm placing the edge on the acrylic like i'm gluing the edge to the acrylic in some other cases if you just want the light to be at the tip i think that's the common one that a lot of people do but my I just want mine to illuminate inside and also show my design not just um illuminating round uh round the design i don't know if you are getting what i'm saying and, and i'm sure you have because if you've seen all this um, acrylic before online i don't just want to put some people's picture yes yeah, so but 
if you if you check some most acrylic that they do on instagram you will see that the light only surround it will just illuminate round but this particular one i want you to enter the design so that even in the dark it will still be showing the name my name okay so you get it uh -huh. so how to place this you have to this method that's what you're going to use you can see that the light is what is facing not facing us here then i just uh, i glue the hedge to the acrylic i hope you are following my explanation okay <laughs> now if you want to do that particular that other one uh that it will just go around the light to just illuminate around okay what you're going to do is you're going to place um the light face down okay the light will face down so that it's just going to illuminate round it's not going to reflect into into the design okay and um after the video you're going to see what i mean by that now you're going to carefully glue this round okay now this is the most important part of this thing the wiring now if you are doing this you need an electrician that's the truth you need an electrician that is going to connect you can see your wire for you where you want it to be you can't do it by yourself with this this particular part if you want to put like you need wire work okay so i also drew the wall okay i drew the wall okay so and this thing is very easy for me because i've been doing furniture work before yes <laughs> if you see some of my videos um that i did about three four years ago you'll notice that i uploaded some videos on tire furniture and all so all these really machines and everything i have them already at to okay and all this drilling and all those things is something that i'm used to i used to drill very very well <laughs> yeah so i drill the wall i put the washer inside because this is where we are going to be putting the stainless steel screws although there's a local name they call these things yes but when you go to any furniture shop any shop they sell furnitures uh, materials they are going to have it you can just screenshot the picture and show them they will give you they come in different sizes so the size that i'm using is um three inches there's four inches too so um there's also two inches uh majorly people will use that small tiny one but i want my to have to come out so well i don't know if you are getting what i'm i mean i want it to come out so very well out of the wall okay instead of it to stick a little bit to the wall i want it to come out very well because i want the light to reflect even around um, outside the signage now this is how you're going to do you're going to buy the screw okay the screw is somehow long like this you can also use short one but i would advise you buy long screw so that it's going to stick very well okay to the wall if it's too short it's not going to so this part you just take your screwdriver put your um uh your screw inside like that make sure it come out of the holder hole okay so you are just going to put your screwdriver inside the hole then you are going to screw it to the wall now if you are also doing all this um, borderless frame this is how to also attach it because i think i made some borderless frame some time ago and a lot of you sent some um, pictures of where they use these stainless uh, stainless steel screws to hang the frames to the wall so this is exactly what you're going to do okay so you need to drill the wall put it like this exactly what you're seeing me do okay so this is how to do it so if you want it long like this go for it so after that you screw it then you're going to just put the lid and it's just going to stay okay it's just going to stay <laughs> you know i told you that the most important aspect of this thing is the wire work yeah um the wire work yes so that's the most important part of it and if the electrician has done the connection for you it's just for you to put it to the wall and and that's it okay that's it because you want the light unless if you don't want the light you know you are just done basically here 
now there are also different ways people attach the wire you know the lights okay some um uh they will just leave the i don't know what is even that control the name of that control self i also put it on the screen the control the hanging of the lights okay and you will see some persons uh own it will just dangling it will just be dangling uh down okay <laughs> Sometimes you don't even know the word to use to describe some things, but I think you're understanding what I'm saying, okay? But in this, my case, I glue the wire round, okay? And also the engine, I just, um, I just uh, glue it also. I just shifted it inside, sort of, so that I don't want to be seeing that wire, wire, wire everywhere. <laughs> I want something that will come together like this. Uh -huh. So I removed the cover of the engine and you can see what we have so this light also have um uh the control or is it the switch yes that can give you that can give us different uh color and so and you can see the way i said the light it illuminates around the light everything is just shows not that it will just be showing at the tip at the golden tip when you see some it will just be at the tip at the golden tip round that's where the light is just going to be showing but i want mine to reflect all through okay all through the design and also outside this when i half lights and you can see what we have isn't this nice this is beautiful please like this video share comment in the comment section below we also have different types of this signage we have neon we have different types i'm planning a tutorial on this where you're going to learn more and more details if you are interested let me know in the comment section so that i will know if it's something i should put in effort into and make a paid class for you so that you get even more understanding about it so if you are interested just drop your comments in the comment section below that i will be interested i'm interested in learning more about um signage because there are different types and also the connections the most also important one is that neon okay where you can the ones you can also put outdoor okay yeah this is something you can make a lot of money from for this size people sell it for 65 75 thousand naira yes you can check online and see how much they are selling it yes and with this one too you can make money from it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye